god, this shit crazy. Anyway, man, we got how to make breast crisp southern fried chicken with flight. I think I watched this video. I think Cass Nasty reacted to it. But uh, y'all know personally, I cook for myself. If you see my Instagram and shit, sometimes I be cooking. I be cooking that whole up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But hopefully, you enjoyed this video, man. Like, subscribe, comment if you're new. Let's get into it. What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up. Chef, look at flight chef reacts. Flight, hey, man. Bro. All right, so I know y'all see the title, and we're gonna dive straight on to it. Now, if you mess with these types of uh, cooking tutorials, my first ever one, you know what I'm saying? Let bro, me flight, stop with the hair in the back of your head, bro. Like, it's just, bro, it's just crawling my no, skin, we'll bro. we'll do shall more in the future. All right, so as you see from the title, man, we got Southern That shit like a goddamn bush. Right chicken now. If you don't know what you're doing with this recipe, just step out the kitchen. And this is exactly why, if you don't know what you're doing, you clicked on this video, bro. Because you won't ever have to have that moment, bro. But you can't just be doing any and everything when it comes to making fried chicken, bro. Because you can go zero to 100 cancel Thanks. real quick, bro, if you do not know what you're doing. All right, so you know what, man? Duck reacts, Chef reacts. Is whipping up a little sum sum tonight, man, on this beautiful Saturday, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's cooking time in this thing, man. So I'm gonna show y'all the quick ingredients that y'all need to make this so fresh, so clean, clean southern fried chicken. And as I go through the video, you're gonna see me have uh, actually hands on, you know what I'm saying, focus onto it, and I'll you know gradually tell y'all like you know what I'm saying the exact size and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying, here we go. Water, you know what I'm saying, at least half a bottle, half a cup, you know what I'm saying, whatever you want to call your chicken, of course. You know what I'm saying? Get some glacier bags because we're actually gonna need to do okay, this chicken. Okay. Before we start anything, we don't need to put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to two hours, or you can do it overnight if you're not pressed for time. You know what I'm saying? You don't need your pickle juice. You know what I'm saying? You need at least a uh, half a cup of pickle juice. Uh, pickle juice. Um, Buttermilk, and here's your seasoning, so fresh or clean, clean seasoned paprika, you know what I'm saying? This is what gets the job done, you know what I'm saying? You know, black pepper, okay. you know what I'm saying? The I'll salt, you know what I'm saying? The onion. So right now, I'm actually going to take my chicken and uh, wash it off and then pat it down with the paper towel and everything like that, and then put everything in the bag. I'm gonna put it up close to my hand so you guys see what I'm doing in just a second. All right, y'all, right. now, so like, it seems like it's just like, you wash it off and then then it's that's in it. But I didn't want to leave out, you know, all the juicy details, man. No, nah, the fat in the chicken be good as fuck, bro. The tutorial and everything like that. So, like, this is the thing that I'd see growing up, you know what I'm saying? Whether watching, like, my grandma or my dad cooking fried chicken and everything like that, man. So, like, if you see, like, this, like, really pale looking part of the meat this is like called the fat you know what i'm saying why don't y'all add some more years onto your life you know what i'm saying rip that thing off you know what i'm saying now you can actually keep this on and everything like that there's well. nothing wrong with that it's not it's actually uh like really really good but it's also really really unhealthy and everything it's it not is. gonna take away no type of flavor but shout out healthy flight bro that fat man you just going you know what i'm saying knock off a couple of health problems in a couple of years you feel me or you know what i'm saying you also add on a couple more years onto your life man so i'm I'm gonna show y'all exactly how to do that. Uh, well, I'm, I'm in the throne. This is all trash, by the way, the fat. We're not using this cooking. I'm gonna throw it out, and, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's it's easier actually to rip the fat off and get into it once you start washing chicken out. You can have your, your water on medium hot, you know what I'm saying, something like that. You know, now you don't wanna just go all like that, you know what I'm saying, ripping the meat out and everything like that, pause. You feel me? You just get up <laughs> under there, you know what I'm saying, rip it right out, you know what I'm saying? This is all fat, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you can keep it on, it's optional for you, but if you choose no, to, it's you know mandatory what I'm saying, that you keep the fat on. Uh, stay out the doctor's office and, you know what I'm saying, have um, more years added on to your life, you feel me? This is just a little routine you can do, you know what I'm saying, to, you know what I'm saying, help you guys with that, you know what I'm saying? So as I'm doing this, bro, you know what I'm saying, getting up under there, washing it out, make sure that I have, okay, you know okay. what I'm saying, the factory stuff, pesticides, you know, not not pesticide, but, um, yeah, you know always saying, clean like, the chicken, insects, always clean and all that it. stuff. So that is actually my last chicken that I had just did. All right, y'all, now for the final touch before I put it in the uh, uh, Ziploc bag and everything so it can be a little bit, uh, uh, refrigerated and everything. Bro, I need some better water, bro. Like, people have flight got the smart water. I need some, like, fucking Fiji water or some shit, or Evian, or whatever that shit is. To give it that, you know, moist flavor. I need some better water. You're gonna pat it down, you know what I'm saying, with this, uh, this paper towel and everything. You know what I'm saying? Just to, you know, get, just take every, you know, little bits of water out. You know what I'm saying? You just pat it down. You're not going to fully dry it. Obviously, it's going to be in some water. But, you know okay. what I'm saying? You want to do that to the chicken. You know what I'm saying? Pat it down. All right. And now the final part. So, 
These ingredients, all you're gonna need is your water, your buttermilk, and your pickle juice. Now the pickle juice, you want a half cup. That shit still looks like some pee. I ain't gonna lie. About uh, one and a half, two of these. So this is about a half cup of pickle juice. All right, so I'm gonna actually double bag this so fresh and so clean, clean. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, chicken that we about to put in the refrigerator for uh, 30 minutes, or you can put it up to two hours, or you can do it overnight if you're not, you know, pressed for time. Me, I want to say I'm pressed for time, but I don't have an overnight type of time if it makes sense. All right, so I went ahead and double bag everything like that. Now, uh, this is a disposable foil can that came on top of the foil cover and everything like that. Um, I have no problem replacing it and everything like that. So every, if you have your own preference of dish that you use that's comfortable, you can use it, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you know, copy the exact dish that I have and everything. This is just what I had, you know, given the time, all right? So we got our half thing of, you know what I'm saying, our so fresh, so clean, clean pickle juice right here. You're gonna go ahead and dump that in the bag right there. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, this is going in the same exact glacier bag. So if you mix the water with the pickle juice first or the pickle juice with the water, it does not matter. You want a half a cup of that so fresh, so clean, clean I water. never tried pickle juice. I'm gonna try that shit now. Now that you said it, it look, it look like it's gonna make the dish better, so I'm gonna try it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go, go the smart way. You know what I'm saying? Or you can go the Fiji way. You know what I'm saying? I you never know? thought flight could cook, bro. Like this shit is hey, crazy. Healthy, healthy, healthy. You know what I'm saying? And with the buttermilk, make sure you shake it up. Make sure you shake it up. All right. Now this is the first time I'm actually using this type of buttermilk. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was looking. I was looking for the knob and everything like that. All right, so with the buttermilk, you don't need a measuring cup necessarily. You just want to kind of get like half the bag or like, you know what I'm saying, a good amount. You know what I'm saying, where it's like, it's, it's on top of the chicken, like the chicken's drowning inside of the buttermilk pretty much. You don't want to put like a little itty bit, you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my buttermilk right up in that thing. You know what I'm saying, just got to get like halfway, like I said. Um, you know what I'm saying, you probably don't have to get the bag and you know what I'm saying. You know, that's perfect right there. I actually poured a perfect amount. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Obviously, when it's double bagged, it's not gonna look like, you know what I'm saying, what the uh, the full is. Make sure y'all double bag it, man, because I don't be trusting these bags at certain times and everything like that. And now, after you massage that chicken in there, you know what I'm saying, go ahead with the bag that's underneath everything. Um, I want you to go ahead and zip it up a little bit halfway, but leave some air in it, because you don't, like I said, want to suffocate the chicken. It's already, you know what I'm saying, passed away. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to keep on beating it up, doing strangling it. It didn't do nothing to you, bro. Relax, right? so <laughs> and the way he leaned down, it didn't do nothing to you. A little bit that of is, a hole boy. so it can breathe. You know what I'm saying? And then zip up the actual thing the entire way, especially if you're overnighting this and everything like that, man. Make sure the top is zipped up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? doesn't get spoiled. And the bag should look like this puffy. If I go like this, it'll explode. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. So, I'm going to leave this in the refrigerator uh, for a solid... Uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. Be right back. One hour later. Now you put about uh, a tablespoon of onion powder, tablespoon of paprika, and I wanna say like, honestly almost, I wanna say equivalent to the flour, but like half and half, because you wanna be able to taste it. You know what I'm saying? Don't smother, but at the same time, don't be afraid to go in with the seasoning right here. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Then uh, the seasonings that you wanna put last is the salt, after you're gonna see me whisk it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We wash it off, just get that good wash off one more time, and everything like that. Um, you're gonna actually put your salt and pepper uh, last, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, whisk it up, you know what I'm saying? Get make sure your flour is tasting. Usually you put stuff like this in the bowl and everything. It's okay if you don't have a bowl and doing a little ghetto way, you know what I'm saying? Um, but we got over here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the season mixed up. If your season is consistency looking like this, you see that right there? You see how it's like kind of brownish? That's what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, for the little final touch, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get, you know, just a nibble of salt. You know what I'm saying? Just around that thing. You don't got to go too crazy. It's already filled with salts from the other seasonings. You know what I'm saying? Then you want to take the black pepper. You know what I'm saying? Now dab it on there, you know what I'm saying? If you accidentally leave like a spot like I just left right there, it's all good. Just whisk it in. Spread it around, you know what I'm saying? Make Great sure, flight. You know? What you do want to see also is that black pepper throughout that seasoning. You know what I'm bro, saying? Bro, I'm really learning shit from flight, bro, when it comes to cooking, bro. I ain't think I, I ain't think flight could cook, bro. That shit crazy. Consistent, you know? Give it a little dab of that black pepper right there. I think you should be good. Just give it one more dab of that salt. You good. You know what I'm saying? Now, actually, it's not like you're using all of this, so it's just like at the same time for each time you dip 
the the chicken in everything you want to make sure you know all right i want to see the chicken bro i want to see him put it put the chicken in the thing so you want to go ahead like i Pause. said keep flipping it around get that so fresh so clean clean flour on there you know what i'm saying and then when you see my hand like this squeeze it squeeze that good old seasoning in that chicken and squeeze all the juices the nourishments the supplements the healthiness of the fry. When you put in flour on chicken, it feel weird as fuck. Like, it's so... And everything. Oh, no, it's so weird. You know what I'm saying? Just squeeze it up in there and that shit. All right, bro. We gonna, I want to see the chicken. I ain't gonna care with you. Don't take your chicken. You know what I'm saying? Get your tongs. You know what I'm saying? The vegetable oil is cooked the way you can tell the vegetable oil is ready to be fried is when it starts simmering up top a little bit. You when you cooking, you dead ass be needing a mask, bro, because the oil be fucking splashing in your face, bro. It's annoying. Here's sparkling and glistle. All right, y'all, so the amount of vegetable oil that you put in, you want to cover about, like, half the pan. You know what I'm saying? Not too much where it's going to start dripping out the side, depending on how big your pan is. And the vegetable oil, you're going to have it heat up to 350 if you're going to use a temperature. But like I said in this video, you can still tell the way vegetable oil is ready to be, you know what I'm saying, cook and do your thing when it's simmering at the top. You can just hear it, you feel me? Or you can take a thermometer, be old school way. We're about to take these tons right this second, everybody. And put the chicken and give it a good wash off. You know what I'm saying? Rinse off too because it is already washed. But I like to rinse it off with that water. You know what I'm saying? One more time. Now we're gonna go ahead and put as many chickens as we're able to fit. Alright? So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and start uh, with this chicken. Now make sure you just lightly put it in there. Don't drop it in there because that thing is hot. Nothing worse than some grease pan stuff sparkling hitting you in the chest. You know what I'm saying? Try to have a shirt on when you're doing this type of stuff. You know, don't be afraid to also turn down the stove, y'all. It's already hot when you're putting it on. Put it to around like, I put it to like four or five area. Nigga, put a, put a third one. Put a third one, nigga. Fit yes, as many chickens as you can, but make sure you have space for them to breathe. I'm going to probably be able to fit four on here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put four chickens up on this thing just like that. I'm going to go ahead and also, you know, take a little bit of that breading, take a little bit of that mix, put it on top. Don't be afraid of, you know what I'm saying, take some more seeds and stuff, put it on top, give it that little final little, you know, taste to it, you know, the style with the drip with the sauce, you know what I'm saying? Put it right up on there, y'all. All right, y'all. So you're going to want to cook the chicken for about 15 to 20 minutes. This is a 15 to 20 minute process. This is not like cooking eggs, bacon, grilled cheese, none of that. This is poultry. You want to make sure you reach the temperature of 165 degrees. You're going to honestly want to flip it one to two times, but cook it to about 15 to 20 minutes. After about seven minutes, I like to kind of flip it over. You know what I'm saying? And then you can flip it back over at that last three minute mark. Flight. Only flip the chicken over about one time, y'all. Yo. You know what I'm saying? You see that crispy ground? Look at it. Has when once you feel it starting to get crispy, that means it's working its way and it's almost done. Now, like I said, you only want to flip the chicken one time because you're gonna end up messing with that crust. You don't want to mess with the crust too much where it's falling over. It's looking, you know, um, loose. You want it all to be kept together. You know what I'm saying? Gent be gentle with it. Take your time. It's not a race. Flip it over. You know what I'm saying? You can raise the heat back up. I put it back to around six now, you know? So I got it into a subtle, nice little cool temperature. Flight, move that one and to now the, I'm to putting the it back up to high so it can continue to sizzle and get that, you know what I'm saying, that flavor. Now we're going to go ahead this for about another five, I say, to seven minutes. And we're going to get our thermometer in just a second. We're gonna keep all of our uh, chickens that we put in there. We have two separate tongs, by the way. Hey, make sure you guys have separate utensils, tongs, whatever you're using to grab your chicken, your anything you're cooking. You know that's raw meat. Pause. You feel me? Like separate utensils and tongs, etc. Okay, right. because you do not want to get food illnesses, poisoning. You know what I'm saying and things like that. I have two separate tongs. I had this one tongue right here that I just placed down that I was using and I only used to put the, the, the raw meat. Nikki on love. What you talking about? Oh yeah, we're gonna be reacting to that too at 12 o'clock. Nikki and Lil Baby.
keep in mind that the video, the way we did the video, is only um, is only two verses. Is 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 my verse, hook, baby's verse, hook, but it's it's not the whole song. So I want you, to, I want you guys to promise me. I know that if the video is live at at, at, at one the dot at midnight, I know you guys are gonna um, I know you guys are gonna watch it a couple times, right? But I want you guys to promise me that you will you will then go and listen to the song so that you can hear the full song, okay? Um, because I love I love the outro of the song. I rapped and, and did a and did you know some stuff. So I want you to get I still want you want you to hear the full song, don't forget, okay? So when you see the video, don't think that that's Nikki bad as shit, I ain't gonna kill. She Nikki is top ten artists of all time. Top ten. Most deaf. Alright, I'm done. I just needed to hear that. Just to make sure it was dropping, bro. That new little baby and Nikki. Me into the pan. And then I have a clean tongue that I haven't touched and haven't used to put when the chicken is done onto the cutting board. So keep that in mind for any utensils that you use. You have to be very, very cautious with this. Uh, one ton that a clean ton to take our chicken out um, and put it on the clean cover board that's a, the finished product of the chicken and everything. Look at um, flight stand safe. Thermometer in just a second. I'm gonna show you. All right, y'all, looking at the chicken. I think it's looking just about ready. The crust is nice and flaky. Some parts is hard. I'll give it that one universal flip one more time. You see right there that golden crispy crust. That's exactly what you want to look for, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. See how that crust stays on when I'm trying to grip it? That's exactly what you want to look for. You know what I'm saying? Take your time while you're doing this, there's no rush. I'm gonna put these two chickens through. You can't fumble the chicken. One thing you want to do in life, you don't ever want to fumble the chicken. You know what I'm saying? Ow, ow, ow. You know what I'm saying? Be careful. Make sure you get that drip of the tongue. Don't be like Duck React. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let it drip a little bit. Put on my clean cutting board. Take this last delicious looking piece. Put on this clean cutting board. And as you guys see, the final temperature of the now chicken that look on the good. thermometer should read 165. It is literally right smack dead at that 165, maybe 164 mark. But you know what I'm saying. Just mind you too. When you take it off that um, the uh, the fryer or skillet, whatever you want to call it, the chicken's gonna be still cooking for another minute, two minutes, and everything. So you know what I'm saying. Also keep that in mind. And also uh, with that, uh, it just got exactly to that 165 mark. All right, y'all. Taste test reaction to build a man. We gonna take a piece of this juicy, so fresh, so clean, clean fried chicken. Okay, you look good. Though. I ain't gonna right you. now. You What's can't eat flight? fried chicken without honey. If you don't have honey while you're eating fried chicken, or at least ranch, honey or some with type fried of sauce, chicken? just stay far away from me, bro. You the ones, y'all, we didn't really be watching out for. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I want to take a piece of it, because I do want to say something. Who knows? Someone might finish the last of it to his bit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a little pressed, like I said. Got to go somewhere with that honey dick. Oh. Did you just say a honey dick? What the hell? Oh. Pause. Oh. oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Like, what the hell is this again? Oh, fuck. Damn, I don't Shake even it. know if I'm gonna upload this video, man. This shit right here is crap, bro. That shit this looks shit good right as here fuck. Is crap. Hold on. One more good bite, bro. And that shit is hot. Exactly how you want it, like I said. That spicy, not spicy, but that seasoning, that trio kick. You taste all of that in through the chicken, the black peppers, the salt. Oh my gosh, man. Hey, the price just went up. The price literally just went up, man. 100% husband material over here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, fam, I'm gonna open up a restaurant, man. Oh, okay. good. Man, hopefully you enjoyed this video, man. Shout out to Flight. Go subscribe to the channel. Give him the five mil. But, uh, yeah, man, let's get it, bro. Share this to anybody you know, like, subscribe, comment. Flight, not kidding. This was one of the best ones to react and cooking videos ever. Yeah, man, hopefully I enjoy, man. Like, subscribe, comment if you're new. I'm out.